Yo, what is going on guys? It is Twixter and today I'm going to bring you guys another tutorial. I know I have not made one in a while and it's because of school and other stuff in my real life. And yeah, and I know it sounds like I'm kind of whispering, but it's because it's kind of late and I don't want to wake anyone up. And I just couldn't sleep and I wanted to make a tutorial because I have not made one in a while. And as you can see here, this is a thumbnail of the video you guys are watching. I'm going to show you how to make the thumbnail text here. I'm not going to show you guys how to make the background because all it is is just like grunge textures and like stuff like that. But if you guys really do want me to show you guys how to make that, then just leave a suggestion in the comments or something like that. I don't know. But uh, this tutorial, I'm also going to try to not be monotone like normal because I'm very monotone. If you, you know, you can notice, uh, well, maybe not in this video. I don't know. I don't know what I sound like. But. Yeah, so so I just kind of kind of get bored of listening to my voice, I guess you could say. And I do not want you guys to get bored of my voice because you know, then you might want to click off the video or might not want to watch my, like my longer videos or something like that. I don't know, but let's get started. So, what you want to do is you want to make a new um new whatever it's called new project toy by 72350 resolution or whatever it is and double click this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag in this background right here and let me just duplicate that there we go and let me just drag that into here now it's very very simple just by the way it takes very little time the hardest thing is m probably just making the background because that takes more time uh, I can't get it perfect it's gonna annoy me uh, there we go that's good so let me just delete this alright so what you wanna do is you just wanna get your text tool and what I suggest like I did here is using two different kinds of fonts I used to use two like cleaner fonts but I saw SSOHQ use a like grungy style font and I thought that was really cool and I don't know and I just kind of really liked it so I decided to try to do it or try to use that method and it turned out pretty nice so uh, the two fonts I'm using is Nexa Bold and Overdrive Sunset I'm pretty sure you cannot get uh, Nexa Bold on Defont.com but you can get Overdrive Sunset on um, to font.com because that's where I got it. So um, let me just get an exit bold here. All right. So where is an exit bold? And I'm just gonna type in sample. Or is that? Mm, there we go. So always with the text you want to make it very big because if you do not it'll pixelate when you try to distort the text and whoa what happened uh there we go so just make that as big as you can possibly make it i want to make it there right there all right and grab your text tool again by pressing t or just going over here and look for over drive sunset now you can use whatever one you want. You can use like um, I don't know any kind of grungy thing. You can use like kill the noise or something. And I'm just gonna type in. All right, um, yeah. There we go. Now usually you want to make it around the same size, but for some reason I kind of like it if it's like just a little bit smaller than the. Uh, original cleaner text and you want to make it like overlap and so I'm gonna hide thumbnail the thumbnail one first and double click on sample and yeah so first of all it's just a bunch of layer styles really that's mostly the tutorial so uh, I want to go to gradient overlay and not do anything because I used a white text if you have an off-white you can put on like soft light or something but I'm just gonna turn down the opacity because I have a white text and then after that I want to add a stroke over here I want to make this white but I also want to make it not that big 
I don't want to turn down the opacity so it's kind of there but it's not but it's a cleaner text so it, it'll look nice trust me so then after that I want to go to bevel and emboss I want to turn off global light here I want to type in 250 and 111 those are just the settings I like or wait what it just no that's not uh, over here 111 and I want to turn this down and then over here you want to type in 90 and 1 and those are the settings I use and it just makes like a curving like um I don't know like a curving thing you want to turn down these and mainly this and just get it to somewhere you like and if you want you can turn up, up the softness then after that you want to go to drop show and depending which way you want to kind of distort your text you'll see what I'm talking about later but I think I'm going to distort my text to the, the right so I'm going to keep it like at 120 degrees here are the settings I use I use 1 distance and 11 size on thumbnails and I turn down the opacity to around 50 but after that I want to go to here to inner glow and just turn that up a bit There we go. Um, anything that I'm missing? Uh, I do not believe so. So that's that. And after you have this, then you want to work on thumbnail. Now, depending on the color of your background, depend or the color of your background kind of depends on the color of your uh, subtext. I can also change the hue and saturation of this um, or the color you could call that too by going to image adjustments and hue and saturation now I'm going to change the hue to I don't know let's say let's do like an orangish red I think that that'll work nice so basically it's very very simple but the subtext is two steps so what you want to do is you want to double click on it and you want you do not want to touch bevel and emboss you do not want to touch gradient overlay yet <laughs> now what you want to do is you want to go to color overlay and choose a color that best fits the background now I kinda like that because that matches it and you always want to make it more vibrant than the background um, because the background is in my opinion should be blurred and you know stuff like that not as vibrant as the text because you want to focus on the text and you don't want to distract it's called it's all like what the eye does and stuff like what you look at first and I always like zooming out and zooming back in looking away looking back at it see if I did it right and stuff well anyways after that you want to add the drop shadow same settings 1 11 uh, around 50 distance you want to add a stroke make it one don't do anything to that so like the strokes there but you can't really see it too much um, and then after that you want to add an inner glow as always put up the size depending if you want to add soft light or overlay I'm gonna add soft light because it's a very bright color and you can see it so you might want to turn down the opacity just a little bit there we go I like that so after you have that done, you want to press OK, then you want to go over here, rasterize layer styles, and then you want to double click on that to open the layer styles again, and then add a gradient overlay and make that soft light. So it gives it that cool uh, effect that you saw right here. So always remember that, that that does that effect, and it's really, really helpful when you're working with very bright colors and it just makes it look super cool and then after that you want to I'm actually going to group these and name these text back up and I'm going to duplicate these and then what I want to do is I want to press control E because what that does is that merges down the group and uh, merges in the layers and stuff like that so after you have that then all you have to do is really distort it the way you want so I want to actually center this a little more and go over and make sure you have this highlighted go and that it's rasterized if you don't already have that done 
and go to edit transform and you can use perspective or distort I prefer distort because I can do what I want with it and I usually like going like this um, so it looks like it's um kind of bending outwards to the right and still you know like I don't know how to explain it but it just looks really nice to me and that's like what I use and there you go you're basically done besides actually I did forget one important thing so let me delete this, this is why you make a text backup so let me uh, rasterize both these layer styles you can rasterize type as well and then rasterize layer style but then you wanna control click on the little thumbnail here of the thumbnail tab and you wanna go to select modify and expand it I like five pixels because of the sizes I use uh, the size of the fonts that I use so after that I press OK and because samples are already rasterized you just want to press backspace or delete and that kind of removes a little thing so it separates the text and um, it just gives it a really nice effect so then you want to duplicate your layer by control J and then control E and hide this one and you want to do the same thing so you want to press edit transform distort and once that loads up there we go bring this in a little bit bring this out bring this in a little bit and there we go there we go so that's basically the tutorial that was a pretty lengthy tutorial for something very simple but I kinda like going into depth of what you need to do and somewhat of what everything does and here you can see how everything's very you know like um, pixelated somewhat but you won't see that when it's like zoomed out like that you'll this is what you'll see when you're on like a mobile device but if you're on like a uh, PC or desktop you will see like this size and I like doing that I like zooming out and stuff but it gives it a really nice effect it gives it because of this color it gives it a really nice warm feel this one gives it a very nice like cool feel but yeah you can use that for anything the main thing that you will so somewhat need to learn how to make is a nice um, defocused grungy style banner or background I mean sorry uh, that has the same color as the subtext but that's very simple to learn if you guys need a tutorial on that I'll make I'll be happy to make a tutorial on that but yeah so let's see how long this tutorial is 12 minutes for thumbnail text wow well anyways hopefully this did help you hopefully this will help you in the future and yeah have a great day it's been twixt peace